your question. All right. Before I ask you. Yeah. We're live on Hello. Facebook. We've got Just Franks. Hello, We're going to be talking about the stigma about body okay. image, plus I size am modeling. sharing it now. She's sharing it. Sharing it now. Share the wealth. And we should be on in about another minute. Okay, another okay, minute. And you will see on air when we're on. And when it's on air, don't call. Oh. Don't breathe. I no. will. <laughs> and I that's will. the only hand signal you need yeah. to know. I'm going to start yelling. No. Just start yelling at yeah. everybody. Yeah. <clears throat> I hope you enjoy the show. Yeah. I know yeah. you'll enjoy the show. Oh, How do you like right. that? Yeah. How do you like that, Facebook? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, we already have a message. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Yeah. What's that? Okay. I said, oh, look, we already have a message. No, we don't. Already have a message. <laughs> Text message. No. Throw out a big thanks to everyone on my page who's listening. <clears throat> and you know who you are if you're not listening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot, I don't like it. It's starting. It might be starting soon. <laughs> Getting my coughs out. <coughs> okay. Sorry, I'm getting myself a <laughs> Oh, commercial. Oh, commercial. Just your feedback and tips. Just search for CJAD 800. Here we go. Good afternoon. Welcome to Life Unrehearsed, a show about the ins and outs of family life. So your life isn't going exactly as planned. <laughs> well, you're not alone, and we're here to help out. My name is Matt Del Vecchio, specializing in free retirement home search and senior transition support. Here with my co-host, Corey Sirota, clinical social worker and psychotherapist, specializing in grief and loss. Coming right up in the first half, Corey, you know... Um, we know when we've got a hot topic, we uh, generally post on our uh, Life Unrehearsed Facebook uh, on the Thursdays or fr Fridays for the mm -hmm. segments. And this particular segment has got a lot of shares, has a lot of interest. <laughs> We're going to be talking about the definition of beauty, which is in the eye of the, the beholder. Oh. Why is there a stigma surrounding the term plus size? Well, our first guest is determined to change society's definition of beauty. Every body for everybody. Justine Frankel is all over social media and proud <laughs> to share her desire to become a model and her journey towards self-love. And we can't wait to hear about that one, Corey. It's going to be very interesting. Without a doubt. You know, you talk about interesting. Uh, the fall lineup we've got mm. on Life on Rehearse, Corey, I'm so excited about it. There are so many. We are booked for the next wow. two months. We've got a ton of topics that we're going to be uh, discussing. We've got Breast Cancer Awareness uh, right. Month coming. We've got the Marijuana Legalization that's coming in less than a month. We've got an uh, incredible guest for that. Um, we've got mental health caregivers. We're going to be, we've got Jamie Benezri is going to be talking legal issues. Gotta we're, love Jamie. <laughs> we're going to be talking financial advice, diabetes. So the next uh, seven weeks are booked on Life Unrehearsed and, and uh, lots of uh, very interesting topics. And, and that's what we're here to do. We want to help people navigate all sorts of challenges and also celebrate the successes that they experience. So really, I'm very excited about each and every one that we are bringing to that we have brought to the table and that we will continue to bring to the table. I'm looking forward to that. And by the way, the second half of the show, no exception. On top of our great first uh, half guest, our second half to the show, we're, we are going to be speaking with Scott Oak. Most of you probably know him as an on-ice reporter for Hockey Night in Canada, but really, Scott is going to be sharing far more of a personal story with us. In fact, his son battled addiction, and unfortunately, addiction won. Scott is going to be a guest on the second half of our show today, uh, and he's going to speak about how that experience propelled him into becoming an advocate for drug addiction and awareness. Um, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, that's uh, it's an amazing story, and uh, we're very thankful to have Scott uh, on the show to talk about uh, a very personal story, and I know it will resonate with a lot of people. So that's on the second half after the 4.30 news here on Life One Rehearsed. And let's get started with our first guest, uh, Justine Aaron Frankel. Well, she hopes to win the next <laughs> Beauties of the World Modeling Agency Contest. She's right in the middle of it right now. 
Uh, this contest inspired uh, Justine to speak out to women who feel they do not fit the media-driven dri uh, definition of beautiful. Uh, Justine is a plus-size model, and for her, this contest is a way to help send a message to plus-size women from Montreal that it's okay to love one's body, no matter what people think about it. And it's so true. Justine, thank you so much for coming on the, sh on the show. Welcome. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited and a little nervous, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's completely normal. You know, and I was just going to mention, first of all, uh, thank you for coming on the show and, and being courageous, not only for, for coming on air with us, but for what you are doing. I think what you what you are doing is amazing. You're speaking to a lot of people out there. And um, for, I have to just start with how old you are. I am 24 years old. 24. So you're just a young one and amazing what yes. you're doing at a, at a ripe young age of 24, getting <laughs> the word out and, and good on you. You know. So let's first start with the, how did you even get involved in, in the modeling aspect? Well, um, I went through a very rough patch in my young adult life. And when that rough patch ended, I really wanted to start advocating for body positivity and loving oneself, regardless of what other people think and what other people want you to be. I realized that you can't impress everyone and you can't please everyone, so why not just please yourself? And I had a friend who had been working with a certain photographer, and I said, you know, if you ever need someone uh, plus size, you know, I'd love to be in front of the camera, of course. <laughs> and she asked him, and he was very interested. I did my first photo shoot just for fun. He said, the camera loves you. You should be doing this more often, and that's how it all started. So it's so nice. It's so it's it's really encouraging. But I have to ask you, um, how would you define plus size modeling? Well, it's a funny term, plus size modeling. I define it the same way as I define modeling. Modeling is modeling. I just have a better diet and better food. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, Justine, we know each other a little bit, and uh, this is so you. You know, I, I like you being so natural. <laughs> Um, but it, it, it can't be easy. I mean, let's put the stigma aside because we want to address that. But um, while talking about the modeling aspect of things, what are some of the challenges? Um, I think right even down to the heels you were mentioning. Oh, yeah. I cannot walk in heels. That is a challenge I've been facing. <laughs> Luckily, at the moment, I'm only a uh, f photo model, not a runway model yet. But uh, I'll have to take a few courses in heels. Luckily, actually... Um, the agency I'm representing, the next beauty of the uh, the yeah. next beauties of the world. Sorry, they actually offer courses on how to walk in heels, how to better pose. So I get all that. So that's Justine Frankel. She is determined to change society's definition of beauty and is working towards her modeling career, um, but changing the term plus size model. So I don't know if I'm I'm a little hesitant to use it. Can I ask you what kind of feedback you've received from other people? Um. Mostly it's an amazing response. Everyone's been super good. There's been negative. There's always negative when it comes to big girls. Nobody wants you advocating that it's okay to eat a pizza instead of a salad. Although that's what I advocate. Um, <laughs> the biggest issue I'm having right now is the quote-unquote good for you brigade that I've been dealing with. And it's when my family or my friends or my me myself will say, oh, you know, I'm plus size modeling. Everyone will be like, wow, that's so good for you. And... <laughs> It's like, well, you wouldn't tell Gigi Hadid, like, good for you, girl. Like, you go on with your bad self. Like, you would say, like, well, that makes sense. She's thin and gorgeous. Not that I have anything against thin models. I think they're everyone is beautiful. But I don't understand why you would say to me, good for you. I mean, like, I'm just doing what I'm doing. Yeah, it's it, it, a very interesting perspective. You know, it's it's a good for you um, is, okay, yeah, well, why not just the same reaction exactly. if it was a skinny model? So I completely hear what you're saying. And you talk about what people's perceptions and how they're talking about uh, pro or con. I'd love to hear about how, how your family members uh, think about this. Well, uh, luckily, in studio now, <laughs> we have a family member. Mom, what do you think about this? So, surprise, everyone. Um, Justine Frankel is my daughter. And so we um, decided that um, Aya was so impressed with what she had chosen to do uh, and really go out there. And um, Justine has always been the kind of kid who um, just didn't follow the norm, so, so to speak. And so I, I guess I'm going to speak for my husband and I, but certainly for myself, she's my role model. Aww. Because she, she challenges society all the time uh, in terms of what is what is and what isn't or what should and shouldn't be and really 
so many people and I know I have learned so much from him. It, it, you know, it is special and, and it is touching for you to say that. Um, uh, if you're watching on Facebook Live, you can see there's some, <laughs> some genuine emotion going on here in the studio. And uh, because, you know what, um, I'm just an outsider, but you are a role model to me as well. I think you're talking to a lot of moms, a lot of daughters. And speaking of, of that, what would you say to some of the younger girls out there that are having issues with body image? Well, I understand it. It's really hard to have these issues whether you're big, whether you're small, whether you're, regardless of race, regardless of anything, you're going to have issues with your body, even men and women. I just say to people that as long as you feel comfortable with yourself, then that's all that matters. The first step is to love yourself. The next step is, okay, I'm, I love myself and I'm worthy of love. What do I want to do? Some people might want to lose weight. That's okay. Some people might not. That's also okay. It's really about learning who you are, loving who you are and knowing you're worthy and then going with that awesome. wow. this is why i'm so proud <laughs> you go, there you go so um we're gonna have to head out to traffic but when we come back justine has a very unique definition of what she calls body positivity and so we're gonna hear about what that means but first we're gonna hear from lauren glazer with a quick traffic update great perfect excellent yeah. beautiful facebook you saw that yeah yeah. Now you, you can breathe. Exhale. Yeah. Exhale. 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 And that was the shorter part. The next part's even longer. Oh, yeah. good. Mm. But really, there was really something good else what I you're wanted, saying. Yeah. There was something really. else I wanted to talk about That's with the okay. challenging part of it. Well, but we're going we're to go. We have a lot to okay. talk about, you know, um, body image. Oh, I'm getting how... messages. Okay. I'm getting messages already. I love you, Gandalf. You're still good. <laughs> I love you, Gandalf, but don't text me till later. <laughs> yeah, we're still good on Facebook Live. Are there people watching? Oh, yeah, we have what? I think 1.2 million is our yeah, average yeah. viewership. And <laughs> Stop. Okay, maybe remove a few okay. zeros. Maybe so remove right. the, the 1.2 and add 7. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go. Um, we've been flying back. through the questions. Yeah. Okay, so but we still yeah. want to address a lot more about, um, you know, what you could say to those that are. are cool. Are, of course. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're we can go back there. I definitely want to challenges because I have something to say about that. Challenging part of work. Yeah. Or uh, that's the also, modeling you also, mean? Yeah. Or, what okay. else? Because we didn't talk about that. She's a student. She's in school. Because just in general, as a career, good, bad, or indifferent, it's uh, good to know. Um, maybe training is a good question. I can always. Training. Um, how, or how much time? How much time do you take? I just want to shout out a quick Facebook Live to everyone in New York and Israel watching right now. I love you guys. So oh, nice. How you doing? And other parts of the world, but I, yeah. I don't know if you're watching. Yeah. If you are, tell me. Can we talk a little bit about social media shaming? Sure. Oh. Yeah. Sure. I have a lot to say about that and pin shaming. Okay. That was yeah. a big part of my start. Yeah. yeah. And it's been good and bad. <laughs> um, but I think in general, like I have a special needs daughter, a special needs kid 20 years ago, didn't have a chance in hell. They have a chance now. And a lot of it is due to social media and the positive. I, I group this a bit the same. There's been a lot of shaming, but there's been a lot of positivity through yeah, social I media as well too. So it makes it more acceptable, I think, you know? Yeah. Are we starting you to do? Oh, I was just moving this. Your on? No, I what? didn't. Okay, you should be the wrong you're, thing. you're coming back, right? Yeah. Should I put them on? You don't have you to, but to go ahead. Music. Ow, ow. Looks cool for your Facebook well, I'm Live stuck. people. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. So you know how you're answering okay. this body positivity <laughs> question, because that's what I'm going to come yes. back with. Yes. Well, sort of, but yes. So loud. It's too loud. You oh, you could, you could adjust it. How do I do it. this? Better? Yes, yeah. much better. No, it's still loud, but it's okay. You're going to... Uh... I realized how loud I said, yes, much better. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to hear the song. What song? Um, uh, we don't want to... Um... Oh, they won't be able to hear it on Facebook, so we could say... What song Sorry. is it? The song, I'm oh. Every Woman, Shaka Khan. They won't be able to hear it on Facebook Live. Oh, did I just blow it for her? Oh, I'm surprise? Every Woman. Yeah. Amazing. There you go. Glad to know that that's who I am. I'm Every Woman. 
Chuka, Chuka, Chuka Pan. Get into my 80s uh, DJ yeah. mode. <laughs> Were you a DJ? No. Oh. I was a pretend <laughs> DJ. In this room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So it's been okay. It goes fast. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Terrific. Okay. Terrific is right. All right, you're, you're great. I'm about. very happy about Two that. Are better than one. For a limited time, you're you. Get the two. Well, you I'm doing do. my best. Yeah. Yeah, maybe one more commercial. Really? Yes. I think we we'll come back at 18, but that's, I don't know. Remember, we got to grow at 8 around 4, 26 and a half. Thank you. 26. Well, you're thanking, and then I'm doing the coming I'm going to say, how can people follow your progress? So you're yeah. going to give a shout out? Okay. <clears throat> and definitely ask about the uh, next beauties. I almost said new beauties. Ask about, uh, about, about it? Yeah. Okay. Well, ask it's about part of the question. Yeah. Because I know that they're going to want a little <coughs> shout out. Absolutely. All right. Welcome back to Life Unrehearsed. I'm Corey Sirota with Matt Delvecchio, and we are talking about body positivity with aspiring plus size model Justine Frankel. Right before traffic, I asked you the question because I know that you're on a mission to change society's definition of body image. You have a very unique definition of what you say. Most people talk about having uh, being positive about their body, but you talk about body positivity. What does it mean to you? Body positivity is an interesting thing because it started off really as a movement to help women that were plus size, but now it's gone so far from that because body positivity is really your, your body and whoever you are, male, female, regardless of race, regardless of size, like I always say, and I mean, people who have physical handicaps, people who have mental handicaps, people who, everyone, like, just... It's about really being positive and loving who you are and using that as a starting point. Like I had said before, it's really about loving yourself and then choosing what you want to do with that love. And loving yourself doesn't necessarily mean wanting to change your body and it doesn't necessarily mean not wanting to change your body. You can want to lose that weight. You can do it. Like, go for it. But just know that if you do lose the weight, if you don't lose the weight, if you do change whatever, you're still worth worthy of love. You're still beautiful. That's it. It is so well said. You know, it's Justine Frankel talking to us about uh, changing society's definition of beauty. And uh, Justine, uh, again, very courageous what you're doing. We should add that Justine's proud mom is Corey Sirota. And um, uh, good on both of you for just even coming on air to talk about this. Uh, Justine, we were talking a little bit off air about the challenges of social media shaming. We're getting that more and more we're seeing it uh, sometimes it could be uh, pro sometimes it could be a big con uh, what's your viewpoint on that um i think that no matter what you're always going to have people shaming um like i said at the beginning of the show you can't please everyone and some people are they're really really against showing and showcasing and advocating for for fat for fat that's like my favorite word in the world is fat by the way <laughs> and people are like People are very fat phobic and are like, if you're showing someone who's fat, like that's disgusting. You're letting young girls know that it's okay to eat that much, but it's okay. Like it's cool. I'm not advocating for people to be unhealthy. I'm advocating for people to love themselves and to be okay with a little extra something. Like I'm pretty healthy. I mean, like all oh, given, I'm pretty <laughs> healthy and I'm doing what I'm doing and I'm happy and I can walk up and down the stairs and you know, I'm not unhappy and I feel shamed all the time people write on my posts people write on my pictures and I sit and I sit there deleting them because it makes me feel uncomfortable I recently had a photographer I posted uh, a more open picture of me sitting down where you really see the rolls of my stomach and a photographer wrote to me and said I don't want to work with you anymore because I didn't realize you were that big it's the what I call the flat not fat it's uh, they want someone curvy but not someone with stomach it's the problem in the world right now in the media and representation is that there's not enough of people with average normal bodies fair enough right uh so then can you tell me about this a little bit more about this competition that you're in this next beauties of the world 
Where are you at with that? What's that about? It's amazing. I really, really love The Next Beauties of the World. It's a company that is hiring and working with models of every different type of body imaginable and a lot of girls like I when I started off modeling I was like there's no way that they're gonna take me because I'm too short and I'm too big and those are like the problems and they'll take you like they're really really great and they started a little competition in which I um I won the voting round which was amazing thank you to everyone who helped me out with that and then we did four episodes three are out on the website uh Agence NB NBT New Beauties. <laughs> sorry, I'm really bad at letters. New Beauties. NBOTW.com. Sorry. <laughs> new Beauties of the yeah, World. Yeah, New right? Beauties. Yeah. N- next Beauties of the World. Next oh next my video. gosh. Um, so they have. We have a couple episodes out, and now mm-hmm. they're we're just doing training and working together and doing what we can before we continue to the runway show, which is going to be in April, I think. Amazing. And again, good for you for just even having the guts to do this. That's Justine Frankel talking to us about body positivity. We're running out of time, Justine, but I know you have you certain goals that you set for yourself, not just for this contest, but to above and beyond that. What are some of your major goals? Well, my first major goal, if anyone is looking for a plus size model, please hit me <laughs> up. I, I have not made a dime from this and I am a struggling student. So please come and hire me to model your clothing. I'm good. Like I know what I'm doing. Um, but my other goal really is not just for me. It's for women in general. It's for websites in general. A lot of plus size, a lot of companies rather that offer plus size clothing, they'll have like size 14 to 36 or something and they'll only have a size 14 model. And that to me is not fair. On the website, you, you want to see, you want an accurate representation. Just a girl with bigger breasts and bigger hips and no stomach is not what every girl looks like, is not what the average girl looks like. So what what my goal is is to help people realize that more representation is needed of the average plus size woman yeah you were saying you know just your size for for when you're uh, getting clothes uh, that could vary alone yeah depending on what store i can be a size 14 i could be a size 16 I could be a size 18 i mean i've looked into dresses dress shopping you could be a size 20 i could even be a 22 like some companies they they market to put these sizes lower just so that you could feel shitty about yourself. Oh, <gasps> oh I'm so sorry. I just swore yeah. on the radio. <laughs> nice. Sorry. You want to thank? Yeah, yeah no, absolutely. We, and, and that's one I'm way to very close. Passionate. One way to close yeah. you out. And you are passionate, to, uh, yeah. Justine, honestly. Uh, um, you, and you are helping out a lot of, uh, a right. lot of people with body image. And uh, they think, like you say, love yourself first. And it starts yeah. from there, you know. Well, thank you very much. How can people get a hold of, uh, I guess, uh, the the modeling page or the the contest? And... I am on I am on Facebook, Just Frank's Modeling. I am on Instagram at Just Frank's, and you can always look up the Next Beauties of the World their Facebook page. If you look them up on Google, you'll find their website, and you can see pictures of me and the other models there. If you want to look into any of us. Thank you. Well, Sorry. Thank you for that. Yeah, thank you so much, yeah, Justina. You you always do me proud, uh, minus the uh, Alberto. <laughs> no. Um, uh, uh, coming up, we will be talking with Scott Oak. His son fought addiction, and the addiction won. So coming up after the news, you're going to hear how Scott Oak took that tragedy and became a national advocate for drug addiction awareness. We'll be heading out to news shortly. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> was that okay? I, was yeah. get I get really, really passionate when I talk about this. And Matt's cracking up, by the yeah. way. Yeah, he's cracking up. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Can you hear me? I'm really sorry. You could say shitty on Facebook yeah, Live, yeah. but not on the air. I'm so sorry. Well, at least I could say before I died. I'm going to swear word All right, video. say goodbye. Thank you so much. Listen, right. tune in, everybody, because we get, we're doing a phone call now. So. Second half phone call. That's right. With Scott Oak, listen in.